Hi friends, welcome to another video. In this particular video, we are going to talk about the some of the basic knowledge questions that are related to civil engineering. And we believe that these are the basic common questions that you must know about civil engineering. Okay, so in this particular video, the basic aim of uh, the lecture is to understand about the lintel, its level, uh, sill and its height and also its level. So we will be talking about the different designs that are used in civil engineering construction and obviously lintel and sill are the different parts of the structure. So let's begin with the lintel. Uh, and before going ahead, if you haven't just subscribed our channel, then go ahead and subscribe the channel because we make videos uh, related to civil engineering. And uh, if you just want to stay tuned, then please go ahead and subscribe the channel. Okay, so let's get started. Uh, let's talk about lintel. So what is lintel? Uh, lintel is actually a horizontal member that is a beam uh, which is designed over the door in order to just distribute the vertical load of the structure or wall above it. Normally the beam uh, that is designed to distribute the tensile load that comes uh, due to the load of the walls or the bricks in the wall. So in order to distribute these tensile forces and compressive forces we have to design a very small beam over the portion on the surface of uh, this this door and that's why it is called lintel so as i mentioned earlier that its main purpose is to just distribute the load uh, as you could see that this is the top compressive load and obviously which creates the tensile forces so these tensile forces are going to be distributed over the supports that are on the walls so that's why this lintel is also called load bearing structure because it has to bear the load that comes from the load uh, or the weight of the uh, bricks okay so let's talk about sill height so sill height is actually the distance between the bottom of window frame to the floor level as you could see here in this particular example the sill height of this specific window is three feet so this is the standard sill height of uh, any window uh, and obviously this sill height could vary depending upon the type of structure uh, height of the building and obviously height of the wall so sill height normally varies accordingly but the point is uh, the, this is the minimum height of sill that is kept yeah, during construction all right so let's talk about sill level so sill level is uh, similar to the uh, uh, sill that we have uh, just discussed a uh, few moments ago uh, sill level is actually the portion of the floor above the ground uh, level to the portion uh, of the window so uh, sill level if you just talk about its uh, specification the standard sill level is kept as uh, three feet this is uh, almost the same uh, to the sill height but the point is we are just talking about the levels uh, from the ground to the portion of the window uh, and also it depends on the type of construction and the type of the structure that we are having all right so let's talk about the lintel level so lintel level is the level at which window and the door top finishing is is called lintel level if you just talk about and uh, see at this picture you could see that the top finishing of both of these windows and the door is similar and have the same level so this is the level at which the both window and the doors are uh, finished that is called the lintel level all right so that's it that was the related uh, some related questions about the lintel level sill level and sill height and i hope that you have learned something from this video Video. so before signing off please subscribe the channel because we make videos every day for related to civil engineering and if you have found this video very helpful then please go ahead and subscribe and share uh, to your friends thank you and see you